Imagine planting more than 18,000 flowers in one garden. How beautiful would that be by the springtime? Well, if you want to see what that would look like, all you have to do is head over to Kernersville. This is cool. I spoke with Adrian Rothling with the uh, Senior Botanical Gardens about their huge undertaking. Take a look. So Adrian, this is really cool. I know you guys are kind of in full on prep mode right now for the explosion that happens there with color in the spring. Tell me what you guys are up to. Well, here we are in the middle of January and a lot of people would think, why are you guys planting bulbs? Uh, shouldn't you have done that in the fall? Well, yeah, the answer is always yes. But in North Carolina, the ground really doesn't freeze a whole lot. And the rarity that it does, it's usually January and February, which is typically our coldest months of the year. So ideally, we have all the way until like the beginning of January to get all your bulbs in the ground. So what kind of numbers are we talking about here? Because you guys plant just a few more than most of us at home. This year is actually kind of a, um, it's, a it's not as many as it used to be. It's only 18,000 this year. <laughs> Only 18,000. That's amazing. All right. So how long does this take before they finally come up and we get to see the, all the tulips and daffodils? So as long as we get all 18,000 planted by hopefully January 15th, then we should be good to go. See bulbs, tulips and daffodils ideally need six to eight weeks of cold temperatures, freezing temperatures, if you will, to do their thing, to make sure that they come up well and burst into color in end of March, beginning of end of March, and going all the way through April. And I don't think people realize, like, this is kind of your Super Bowl, right? I mean, this is what draws them in. How big of a draw is this once they're all in full bloom? On the weekends, we count thousands of visitors, and we typically will count about a thousand every Saturday and Sunday. And then during the week, we have garden clubs come for tours. So if you're looking for something to do, come as a group. We'd be happy to provide a docent or even um, one of the staff here to lead you on a tour and talk about all the different varieties. But April and any garden is the busiest season because I think it provides a fresh awakening and people are just so ready to give up winter and just get back outside and start doing things to enjoy your gardens. Well, the pictures tell the story. It's beautiful. We can't wait to see your finished work. Thanks, Adrian. So it is their biggest thing of the year, right? I told her it's like her Super Bowl, right? So that's, mm. it's um, mm -hmm. filled with all the tulips and daffodils. Um, people, I think you had asked me earlier in the day, can you buy them? Yeah, you know, can you buy them? They're just there to look <laughs> at, but it's unbelievable how many they have and how full they get. Our news director said she had been to look at it and it's beautiful. I love that. And I love that she also said, as long as we can get them in by January 15th, well, that's the day before the winter storm. So <laughs> right. hopefully you be better get it in there. <laughs> yep. You won't have a choice. That seems like a great activity to do with the family, with some yes. friends. Great for some selfie pictures, because you know they said a lot of people come and take their pics there. So. It's, um, you know, she said thousands literally come in, in a week's time. And so one of the things they do, they have docents that go around. So if you want to ask questions about your garden, mm. what to plant, when to plant it, they all have that information for you. Mm. Something else to add on my list. Think of what it smells like is, when you walk through there. Longer oh, and I longer. know, I know. Yeah. Oh, you guys should do like a, um, you could field anchor from there. Yes, I think oh, that's a good idea. That's great. Boss, are you listening? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Chad. <laughs> Let's Thank take you. this show on the road. You're welcome. Chad, Chad's <laughs> always coming up with the ideas.